The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 3rd Canto, 25th Chapter, Text Number 28, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on November 28, 1974, in Bombay, India. On hearing the statement of the Lord, Devahuti inquired, What kind of devotional service is worth developing and practicing to help me easily and immediately attain to the service of your lotus feet? Kastitai Vichita Bhakti Kidrishi Mamagochara Jaya Padangati Nidmanam Andishan Basnava Am <coughs> So it is the duty of the disciple. Disciple means everyone, human, human body, one who has got human body. Athata Brahma Jigyasa. This is the Vedanta Sutra advice. Atha, Ataha, Brahma Jigyasa. This life, human life, is meant for inquiry. Uh, what is that inquiry? Brahma inquiry about the Absolute Truth. So, the Vedic injunction is that if you are inquisitive about self-realization, Brahma-realization, then you should approach a guru. Therefore, here Devuhuti is accepting his son, the exalted son, incarnation of God, Kapilde, inquiry from him. That is the Vaishnava process. Vaishnava process is not to speculate oneself. If one is actually inquisitive to know about the Absolute Truth, he must approach a bona fide spiritual master. Adho Gudvāsraṁ, the first business is to find out Guru. Guru Krishna Kripaya Pai Bhakti Lata Bij, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says. At the present moment, this is a mentality. Of course, they have got some bad experience. But the process is that you must go to a guru. That is Vedic injunction. Tasmat gurum prabhadeta. Tad vijnana thamsa guru meva avigachet. Avigachet means must. There is no other alternative. In the Bhagavad Gita also it is said, tad viddhi pranipatena pariprasnena sevaya upadakshanti tad jnanam jnanina tattva darshina. If we actually are very serious to get out of the clutches of māyā, the precipitation of birth, death, old age and disease, and get back our original spiritual life, uh, eternal life, nahannati hannamāne sarīre, that is, that is our real identification. We do not die after the annihilation of this body, but we are so dulled by the influence of māyā, we think that death is inevitable. No. Why death is inevitable? Death can be avoided. Birth can be avoided. Disease can be avoided. But we do not know, we have become so dull. We do not know how to overcome. We are busy temporary uh, inconveniences. The whole world is struggling. 
some temporary. The real business is atantika dukha nirvitti. Uh, everyone is trying to minimize the miserable condition, but they are busy for temporary miserable condition. But the Vedic knowledge is how to uh, uh, mitigate the the topmost miserable condition. That topmost miserable condition is the repetition of birth, death, and old age. Janma mettu jarabhyadhi dukha dosha anudarsana. Anudarsana. We should not be very much afflicted with this temporary things. We must have uh, the sense how to solve the ultimate miserable condition of life. That tadvijjāna. In order to know that science, sa guru meva He, If one is interested to know that science, then it is necessary to approach. Just like Arjun was busy, but turned that he has to fight with his relatives, the other side, and they will be killed. And he was presenting so many problems that if I kill my brothers, my sister-in-laws will become widow, and they will be polluted, and there will be varna-saṅkara generation, then the whole world will be hell. In this way he was thinking. The immediate material problems. But when, after arguing with Krishna, he could not find out any solution, then Arjuna submitted to Krishna, Sishyastiham, Sadhimang Prapanyam. My dear Krishna, now I don't want to talk with you as friend, because friendly talk, the talking will be very much, but there will be no benefit. Generally we do so. We talk with some person, some friend, without any utility, just to waste time. That is not the way. If you go and talk with some person, then you must derive some benefit. The aim should be there. Otherwise, simply waste of time. And it is the injunction of the śāstra that unless one is submissive, uh, the uh, superior man should not talk. Uh, unless one is uh, submissive, uh, he will not be able to accept the uh, sublime instruction. The so one has to become submissive. And that submissiveness Krishna Arjuna is teaching us. Shishastiham sadhimang prapannam. I am now submitting myself to you. Not that equal position with you. Friend and friend equal position. That I am giving up. I am becoming your disciple. Submissive. Shishastiham sadhimang prapannam. Prapannam means submissive. Uh, and that is the way. Uh, you cannot speculate. Uh, your speculation has no value. Athapiti deva chirang vichinna. Chirang vichinna. You can go on speculating for many births, many years. Still you will not be able to understand the ultimate goal of your life. It is not possible. Therefore all the śāstras, they advise that you go to a guru. Guru means weighty, one who has got more weight, uh, one who can teach you. Because everyone thinks that I am learned, I am all learned. Who can teach me? No. Uh, nobody is like that. Everyone requires instruction. 
therefore the basic system is adu gudvasram uh, to make one's life uh, fruitful uh, one must approach guru therefore our system is basic system is from the very beginning a child a boy is sent to guru kul to learn uh, not that automatically one learns one must go to guru kul brahmachari uh, brahmachari goes to guru and he works like a menial servant he may be a son of a big brahmin or big king it doesn't matter the one who goes to guru kul he immediately becomes the menial servant of guru this is this is that means guru can order him to act any i mean say low class service still he is prepared to do it this is the business of brahmachari and he takes all travel and childhood he doesn't mind even krishna he went to gurukul to teach us krishna the supreme personality of god is what is the use of his going to gurukul no he is teaching apani achori prabhu jive re sikha chaitanya mahaprabhu also accepted guru and teacher guru mare murkha dekhi korilo shasan when chaitanya mahaprabhu was talking with prakashananda saraswati prakashananda saraswati was very learned scholar and he knew that chaitanya mahaprabhu was also very great scholar so he was criticizing him that this uh, sannyasi from bengal who has come to banaras he simply chanting and dancing and does not uh, give attention in the reading of vedanta he is not a bona fide sannyasi he is sentimental he was thinking like that but uh, one brahmin maharashtra brahmin he arranged a meeting with prakashananda saraswati and lord chaitanya there was discussion so prakashananda saraswati inquired from him that you are a sannyasi in instead of uh, giving our attention in the matter of reading vedanta sutra sankha philosophy wow, what is this that you are chanting and dancing so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu replied that my guru uh, found me. I am a fool number one. Guru mare murkho de. I am not very much learned. Uh, <coughs> so he said, my guru said that you cannot read Vedanta Sutra. But actually, Vedanta Sutra, uh, Vedanta philosophy, is not meant for ordinarily learned person. it requires uh, great knowledge in sanskrit language and philosophy so chaitanya mahaprabhu took the part of ordinary person at the present moment that guru mari murkha dekhi korilo shasan generally people are not so learned that they can understand vedanta sutra therefore chaitanya mahaprabhu taking the part of the murkha society the illiterate ignorant society he said that i cannot read vedant sutra it is not possible he advised me to chant hare krishna and i am doing that and i am getting the result so uh, at the present moment especially in college you they are not very much educated manda samanda mathayu manda they are simply busy how to earn some money and fill up the belly that's all they are not no more interested in vedanta sutra manda manda means very slow or very bad they are so badly infected with the influence of maya they do not care to understand 
that there is life after death, and that life may be anything of this eight million four hundred thousand forms of life. And if I become one of them, if I become tree, if I become cat, if I become dog or insect, uh, or even human being, then uh, if I am in a very inconvenient condition, then they do not care to know. Uh, sometimes they say, uh, never mind if I become a dog, what is the um, wrong there? I'll forget everything. People say, uh, in Western countries, in the university students, they say, they don't show ignorance. Therefore they have been described as mandā. Uh, formerly, uh, especially in India, uh, the chātur-pannaṁ, the brāhmaṇa, kṣatriya, vaiśya, śudra, uh, so at least the most intelligent class of men, the brāhmaṇa, they were interested to understand brahma-jīgyāsā, athāta brahma-jīgyāsā. But at the present, present moment they are all śūdras. They are not interested about brahma-jīgyāsā. Uh, they are interested how to get more money, where the cinema, where what picture is going. They are interested in that. Not about brahma-jīgyāsā. But uh, the human life is meant for that purpose. Therefore we learn from Bhagavad-gītā. Arjuna is personally teaching us. Uh, he is accepting Krishna as guru. Śiṣya-śrīham. Uh, Krishna, now I become your disciple. Not that I remain as your friend. Friend-to-friend -friend talk is not very serious. Now I want to talk with serious. You become my spiritual master, you teach me, and I will take your lesson. This should be the... It is not meant for only Urjuna. It is meant for everyone that he, he, he must find out a guru. The first guru is Krishna. And anyone who is Krishna's representative, he is guru. Uh, guru is Krishna, the original guru. Uh, and if Krishna representative is is available, then he is also guru. Uh, just like he, you are a businessman, and anybody goes to canvas for business to get some order for your business, he is your representative. It is not very difficult to understand. If he is your representative and talk something nonsense, then he is not your representative. He is cheating you. He is taking your money and doing something else. Uh, no. Real representative is he who canvassing for Krishna is not canvassing for himself, that I have become Krishna. No. He is not guru. He is cheater. The representative is he who canvasses business for Krishna. That is guru. Uh, Krishna wants this business. What is that? You rascal, give up everything and surrender unto me. Sarva dharmān parittajya māme kaṁ saranaṁ Krishna wants this business. And a Krishna's representative also says that you give up everything, simply surrender to Krishna. This is Krishna's representative. Sometimes uh, we are very much eulogized, I have done a wonderful thing, but I have done as representative of Krishna. Same thing. I have told all these boys and girls nothing magic. I never showed any gold-making magic. I simply said to them that here is Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. Eh? You surrender unto Him. That's all. Ask anything. I never said anything. So that is actually representative. Anyone can become Krishna's representative. Everyone, especially Indians, they should become Krishna's representative. That is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission. Bharat Bhumite Manusya Janmahila Ja. 
জন্ম সার্থক করি করো পরোপকার পরোপকার মিন্স হোল ওয়ার্ল্ড ডাজ নট নো অ্যাবাউট দি মেসেজ অফ কৃষ্ণ দ্যাট ফর ইট ইজ দি গ্রেটেস্ট ওয়েলফেয়ার অ্যাক্টিভিটিজ টু ক্যারি দিস মেসেজ অ্যান্ড ইনফর্ম দেন দিস ইজ দি ওয়ার্ক অফ কৃষ্ণ ইজ রিপ্রেজেন্টেড অ্যান্ড এনি ইন্ডিয়ান ক্যান ডু ইট বাট দে উইল নট ডু ইট দে উইল চেক ভগবদ গীতা অ্যান্ড স্পিক দে আর হজ পচ দ্যাটস that is not krishna's representative therefore it has not been successful for the last 200 years so many samis and yogis went to foreign countries but nobody spoke about krishna simply had was therefore there was not a single person accepted this cult vedic culture uh, that is practical so uh, And Arjun, we are reading Bhagavad Gita, you can understand that Arjun is a friend. Why he is accepting Krishna as Guru? Why? He is a friend. He is talking equally, he is sitting equally, uh, friend and friend, sometimes talking nonsense. Krishna in the 11th chapter, he was begging Krishna, forgive me, as a friend I am. Uh, misbehaved with you. Uh, and a friend has got right that. Krishna did not mind for that. But uh, he knew that Krishna, although he is my friend, he is the Supreme Personality of God. Mm. Therefore, he is the uh, proper person to become my guru. Uh, and he said also that the perplexity which I have been put into now in this battlefield, this cannot be solved by anyone else except yourself. Uh, that he said also. So this is instruction we get from Bhagavad Gita. Everyone reads Bhagavad Gita. That we have to accept Krishna as the uh, guru or Krishna's representative as guru. Tadviddhi panipatena pariprasnena sevaya. And we have to give service to such guru and we have to surrender ourselves. Not that I accept you, guru, just to know how much you are learned, how much you can talk with me. Not with that spirit. Surrender. That I surrender unto you, sir. Shishya seham. I have become shishya. Shishya means. Voluntarily accepting his ruling. Uh, whatever Guru will say, he will accept. That is called Shishya. Shishya means ruling. Who accept, dis- disciple means disciplinary measure. Whatever Guru says, one who accepts, he becomes disciple. Uh, he, I don't care for my Guru's order and still I am disciple. That is not accepting Guru. Uh, of course, it has become a fashion like that to have a guru, but don't care for guru. Uh, that is not, that will not help. Uh, Shishya sthiyam sadhimang prapannam. And immediately Krishna, as, we, as soon as he accepted to become guru of Ujjona, he immediately chastised him. Asachyan anusu chastam pragyavadang stavasasi. Gatasun na gatasun nanusu chanti pandita. Uh, my dear John, <coughs> you are not talking like a learned man. You are thinking that you are a very learned man, that you are talking with me, that what will happen to this, to that, if I fight, you, know, you have wasted so much time. But actually I find that you are a fool number one. You do not know anything. Asachyan uh, Anusutastam, because you are lamenting for things for which one should not lament. What is that? This body. You are thinking of this body of your relatives and because they will be in the war, they will be killed, you are thinking like that. But actually this is not the subject matter of pondering. The real subject matter is how to save the soul. Therefore he began instructing that we are not this body, we are soul. Uh, 
देहिनस्मिन यथा देहि कहु मार जो जरा तथा देहांतर प्राप्ति इन दिस वे ही गेव फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट वी आर नॉट दिस बॉडी सो हियर ऑल्सो देवहिति इज ओ मैन एवरी वन इज एंड लेस इंटेलिजेंट बिफोर इज गुरु स्पेशली ओ मैन स्त्रिया शुद्रा तथा वैश्य स्त्री भी जानती परांग थी बट गॉड और कृष्णा इज ओपन फॉर एवरी वन इट इज नॉट दैट कृष्णा इज ओपन ओपन फॉर द ब्राह्मण द लैंड स्कॉलर और द हिंदूज और द मुस्लिम और क्रिस्टन नो कृष्णा इज ओपन फॉर एवरी वन स्त्रिया शुद्धा तथा वैश्या स्त्री भी जानती परांग मांग ही पार्थ पापाश्रित्य जे भी शू पापजोन इवन पापजोन पापजोन इन मीन्स लो क्लास जस्ट लाइक इन आवर कंट्री वी हैव गॉड लो क्लास पीपल दी कॉबलर मुची द चंडाल द डॉग इट एज दे आर कंसिडर एज लो क्लास सो कृष्णा इज ओपन इवन फॉर द लो क्लास दिस इज यूनिवर्सल मूवमेंट Krishna consciousness, because it is concerned with the soul consciousness. Therefore, we have named the word consciousness. Consciousness belongs to the soul. That is the symptom, a presence of soul. Ah, at the present moment, because the soul is in the body, if I pinch your body, then you feel consciousness, feel pains or pleasure. But as soon as the soul is gone out of the body, if I chop off your body with a dagger, he'll not protest. The consciousness is gone. Jena sarva midam tatam, abhinasi tu tadvidhi. Jena sarva midam tatam. Krishna says, sarva midam. This body, this body, wherever you pinch, you feel pain. Why? Because the consciousness is there. The Krishna is mighty. That consciousness is eternal, uh, not this body. Abhinasi uh, tat vidhi jina sarva vidam kudam. So that consciousness is eternal. Therefore, we have to purify our consciousness. Uh, then our life is success. Consciousness will go with us. At the time of death, the consciousness carries me to another body. Sukha, the fine, or the subtle body, the mind, intelligence, and ego. But we do not see that mind, intelligence, and ego, and the soul. It is still finer. Mind is we we know you have got mind. You know I have got mind, but you do not see. I know you have got intelligence. You know I have got intelligence, but you cannot see. But how the mind, intelligence carry the soul to another body? How we can see? We see that this body, gross body, is stopped. We say it is everything finished because we have got gross intelligence. We have no sukha in. Therefore, we have to approach Guru. Just I like was doing approach Guru and was doing Krishna teaching that you are thinking of this body like a rascal. नानु सोचन्ति पंडिता ही सेड इन अ वेरी जेंटलमैन लैंग्वेज नो लर्नेड मैन थिंक्स लाइक दैट दैट मींस यू आर अ फूल नानु सोचन्ति पंडिता यू आर नॉट अ पंडित यू आर अ फूल यू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट रियल लाइफ इज फॉर द सोल दैट फॉर यू शुड टेक केयर ऑफ द सोल द होल वेदिक Language, basic education means to take care of the soul. The soul is entangled, embodied, encased in this material affair, and he is suffering. And to rescue him, to get him out of this material clutches, that is called education. That is called education. And for that education, one has to approach a proper guru, like Kapil Dev. Kapil Dev is incarnation of Krishna. Ah. So 
Guru is there. Krishna and his instruction is there in the Bhagavad Gita. Why you are not taking advantage? You have become so foolish. The instruction is there. Guru is there. Somebody says that Arjuna had the opportunity, good opportunity, to talk with Krishna face to face. But we haven't got that. What is that talk? The talk is already there. You hear it from his representative, the same instruction. Where is the difficult? But they will not do that. They will take Bhagavad Gita and misinterpret in a foolish way, in a rascal dam, and spoil his career and others' career. That's Therefore, Bhagavan says, Namang Aduskirti Nam Murha Prabhadanti Naradhama. Because we are sinful, because we are rascals, we do not accept Krishna as the Supreme Personality of God. We are searching after Krishna, making speculation, philosophy. 